Um, all right. You can reply to this message. <laughs> oh, okay. Where do you want to stay here, Caleb? I will stay. Uh, I uh, pull out the wire. I'm going to quietly to walk to the to the to the nonchalantly walk to the back of the house. Mm -hmm. Open the door for my cat. I'm also going to change my appearance. I'm going to go to. I'm going to go to. Uh, um, oh, to me. Yeah. Um, drow. Kind of the the closest I can think of to hippie drow. Okay. It's an attempt. Drow. All right. Bro. All right. Hippie drow. Hippie drow. Hippie drow. All right. All right. Stealth check. Stealth check. All right. All right. All right. Uh, Twelve. Twelve. Uh, yeah. Okay. And I'm just gonna. I keep move. getting older. I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm not coming in or anything. I'm just stopping at the open window and looking in. Okay. You make your way around. Uh, in your new form as the drow, you do not draw as much attention as you would have before, mm. so the DC was not as high as it would have been. So nothing, no one seems to be following you. Mm. Eventually, you guys are there behind you, watch as a hippie-looking drow slowly saunters up in your direction. Is it? Is that? You can tell by the staff, yes. Is he holding a staff? I... Same material. Yeah. Oh, oh, hi, hi, hi. Do your Thing. Oh. We don't know which box it is. Detect magic. Uh, you detect magic. Nothing in the chamber draws a magical essence, but inside the room where they are, in that same uh, corner where you left it last time. In, in the room where Ford and Jester are. Correct. Oh, shit. I pick up the uh, thieves' tools that he dropped. By okay. the way, you pick up and regather. <clears throat> it's in the other room over in the corner of the thing. Oh. Should we try? I'll see you guys later. I'm just going to close the window. I'm not going to lock it. I am going to close the window and keep walking. Okay. Should we try and pop up one of these grates? I can't keep walking. Guess there's, there's nothing magical in them. I, sure, yeah, sure. I'll just, yeah. You, what, you one, take I'll one, I'll one. take okay, one. Okay, okay. Yeah. I'll see oh, if I can what? pop. Why? Pop a crate. I don't know. We gotta do something. I, yeah, I like, can't keep know, this up forever. Fucking, you know, searching <laughs> an inventory list. Uh, uh, Caleb minutes. told me. Did you message me to open yeah, the door I for you? To open the door for the cat. <clears throat> there's a door no. to this room to the rest of the building. You don't have to do it. but It's upstairs. The room you're in, I think. There are two doors. There's yeah. the door that leads into the chamber that they're in, and there's the door that goes upstairs in the spiral staircase. The door so I have no is idea what's in between in those two same doors. Doors. Doesn't matter. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. Yeah. This, there's I, uh, a main shop, yeah. there's a door to the storage facility, yeah. there's a door at the top of the stairs. Yeah. This so your cat is in the room with we're, the goblin we're and, good. okay. We're good. Cool. Goblin, <laughs> goblin oil. So you're both grabbing what? Random boxes. <clears throat> Random locked boxes. Okay. Make a... Make sleight of hand checks. Why? Oh, you're gonna pull out. I don't know what else to do. You're pull out bison shit. And, Nineteen. Uh, Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. And like you both make stealth checks as well because you're doing this quietly. Can I see them doing this? No, we're there in the storage room. Uh, no, Twenty something. Twenty-nine. Okay. Uh, thankfully, because of the the loud. <laughs> awkward singing of Thor, it seems to. To not catch the sound of some of the wood splintering as you kind of crowbar your way into one of the crates, uh, you open the inside and uh, see what looks to be collections of spices. Um, uh, what looks to be different substances captured in, in jars and bags, and it's very strong but a different smell than the rest of the chamber. Uh, you open yours, and on the inside it looks to be um, this kind of very, very fine diamond-like powder. Oh yeah. It has like a like a like a, a, a faint greenish sheen to it in certain bits of light. I'm gonna take it. A bunch of that. Yeah. A bag of that. Okay, so put a, a, a Ziploc bag of that. A, uh, make an Arcana check. Snorted. Four. Yeah. Four, you have no idea what it is. Yeah. <laughs> uh, my pocket has some spices just because. And then let's get the fuck out of here. That, okay. Sure. I think we mission accomplished. All right. Uh, on the way out, uh, <clears throat> I'm going to slam the window shade as loud as I can after we're out. Okay. At this point, uh, <laughs> Mara has uh, her hands like in the armor, like has greased up primarily all of the chest and kind of gotten down to the stomach a little bit. And is like, <laughs> and you see, you need to make sure you get all of the nips and crimp. What was that? <laughs> Turns and pulls the hands out. Was about was to up that? the elbow in your armor and goes like, 
Get out. Uh, get out! Get out! Run out of the door. All right, you guys leave. She, so I she, will. she reaches down beneath the counter for something right as you guys close the door behind you, looking over towards where the sound came from. Mm-hmm. Close the door, closes. You're outside. Frumpkin's still in. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's not a problem. Though. Not a problem. But does Frumpkin see anything happen? Yeah, what is, he, what is she grabbing? Perception check for Frumpkin. <laughs> Fucking finally. <laughs> it was high before, I just got stopped by a door. 23. Yeah. So you watch as the goblin reaches underneath the counter and pulls out what looks to be a, a, a regular crossbow mm-hmm. that's just kind of resting there. Cocks it at the ready. Looks to the corner, it's empty, and goes, <gasps> and goes over and turns the lantern down, the oil lantern really low. Makes a head movement, and you watch as the door just kind of opens on its own, and then brings the crossbow up and enters into the chamber out of sight. So, from my end and from its point of view, it looked like an invisible person opened the door. Possibly. Or the door open. Okay. I will just continue to watch for the moment. You hear some rummaging. Some more rummaging, a few minutes of moving and scuffing feet. And you hear a latching. And then uh, Maru walks out again and is like. (laughs) All right, we gotta be careful. I don't trust it. Well, I'm gonna get to bed, call on the next shift. I'm closing up shop. And she goes and sets the crossbow back underneath the counter, walks over, grabs some keys, heads over to the door, goes ahead and locks, holds the door open, and you watch as on the far corner of the door closes on its own. A figure appears, humanoid. Cloaked, hood back, um, is a uh, very thin, kind of gaunt-looking bugbear, fur trimmed fairly short, uh, and just kind of looks over, nods and follows up, and the two of them leave the building. The rest of you, are you waiting outside? No, well, I mean, yeah, we're, I'm, Someone's me and Ford are kind of standing around, like, you know. Who, right. Did you say that Moro and the bugbear left the building at the end of that, is that what you said? Uh, or just the gang leaves the building. The gang leaves the building, yeah. Moro and the bugbear leave for a second, but the bugbear stays out there in front, stays, stays kind of holding the door, yeah. And okay. has dropped its invisibility. For the time being, it seems. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was the invisible thing in the room with us? Yeah, it was in the shop. Yeah, we got made. Oh no, it was. It was. No, it, it, it was in the shop. It was in the shop. Not we get made. Because she didn't knock like she invisible knew. Invisible help. She's got invisible help, like in that room. Okay, so it's great to know. Yeah, Frumpkin poofs out, mm-hmm. and then I fill everybody in on what I saw. Oh. Yeah. Okay, are you guys left the building though? Yeah, yeah, we no, walked. Yeah, yeah, we took a walk around. Okay, bring me back to the shore. Yeah. Oh shit! Well, that's good to know. Yeah. Good and I got this shiny stuff. Ooh, what and is I, it? I don't know. And I Maybe got, it's gem dust. I got spices. Ooh. What kind of? I don't spices? know. <laughs> You're so shiny. Caleb, 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 shiny. Caleb, is it magic? Is it magic? Caleb, look at it. I will take a look at it. Uh, that's seventeen. Oh. Seventeen. Okay. It is. Oh. It is not <laughs> natural. Uh, at least it isn't in its current form. Um, Synthetic. Drugs. It's in, it's it, it it's processed in some way. You're not true, you're not true to the material, and your world experience. I'd say you're actually not sure what it is. I have no idea what this is. It's, it's weird. It's spice, but it's sued. It's got to be drugs. <laughs> uh, go ahead and make a. Uh, yeah, with my criminal criminal background. Yeah, I'm actually, no. With your criminal background, you yeah. would know exactly what it is. Yeah, it's sued. This is some oh, it's sued. Yeah. It is sued. <laughs> You demanded nice. the crossover, it's finally happened. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh. Nice no matter where it. you are. Oh, no. oh my God. So did we um. just did we just find like like basically oh my god, we just we just found like 
Oh my god, it's a fucking front. It's a front. Oh my it's god, it's a, a fucking front. Well, what's uh, the what's